Aaron could not have been in a better mood on this bright fall day. He strolled down the street, savoring the sights and sounds of autumn. He spotted a jovial scene of sport and whimsy. Eager to play in the brisk fall air, he soon realized it was he who had aired. This was a game for lords. Luckily for Aaron, all was not lost. Becoming a lord was only a few clicks away. Established Titles is a project based on the historic Scottish custom where landowners are called lords and ladies. Established Titles offers at least one square foot of dedicated land in Edelson, Scotland, complete with a unique plot number and an official certificate. With certificate in hand, you could officially include the title of Lord or Lady on credit cards, dating profiles, and it might even allow you to play in those exclusive games of croquet. Perhaps the best part of becoming a lord or lady is that established titles is committing to planting a tree with every order. Established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. Established titles makes a great last minute gift. Act now and take advantage of the massive Black Friday sale! And be sure to use the code BLINDWAVE to get an additional 10% off. If you want to have or give the gift of lordship or ladyship, while also helping to preserve the world's forest and help this channel, head over to establishedtitles.com slash BLINDWAVE. Act fast because the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using that link will be close to Blind Wave's own plots. Game on, my lord. Hey guys, crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And unfortunately, we don't have Rick. And there's a good reason for that. Bridgerton, there's a bad reason for that. I know. There was, it was a very fun show, but Rick, who, as you saw in this TikTok, Really liked the Duke. Uh, yeah, and from cool. what I understand, the Duke is not in season two. But we have a plan. Well, Calvin? What are we doing? Drum roll. Oh. The Duke is here. Indeed. How did you summon this? With hammers. Now we just need to see if it works. Rick! He's here! Yes. And we're ready for Bridgerton! And what is that? Oh, she's even in there. Oh, she's in there. Well, she's in there. Quiet. She may realize I left my husband and child at home for this. That's what I'm Child. Child. I'm <sighs> They seem upset. Who's in here? Who the fuck? Did... Oh, yeah, her, okay. She's got uh, this. Is this her season? Yep. If one of you utters. To be presented to the queen. The feathers are silly. Uh, I like them. Featherton. That's her name. Featherington. I think I have a wash name. Featherton. That is what we need. Featherington was the other family. Lumiton. Apathy is a blight the monarchy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the Bridgertons. Yeah. We have heard nary a peep from Lady Whistledown since last season ended. <laughs> she simply left for the country as the rest of us did in the off season. <laughs> it's so funny they're talking about seasons and shit. I found a small smile work best to appear open and approachable, but not in here. Small. Smaller. I can go bigger. Small. He said smaller. <laughs> <laughs> You have natural gifts. 
Do not patronise me and give me that! <laughs> My task this season will be exceptionally different. Hastings did it after all. How hard would it be? This is a little cleaned up. The Lady Abigail Evans. Miss Mary Ann Halliwell. Miss Halliwell. Margaret Goring. Seems to be like a theme with the feathers. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's the style. Take the feathers out and be different. Too late. Or it's a signal. Oh. They're all wearing the same dress and feathers. Maybe you have yep. to. Have a live bird on your hand. Yes. Just a chicken. That would be memorable. Do you wish to appear like a befreckled beggar spending all day in sun? <laughs> need vitamin D. Overrated. You can eat some oranges. It's not, you'll die. In the future when we live in bunkers, Eric, what are you going to do? Just die. I'd, I'd come in like Willy Wonka. <gasps> This fall. Yeah, fall. <laughs> she gonna pass out? Probably. It's like she's hyperventilating. Uh, uh, the the whistle down is, letter. Is there a new? Yep. There's a new mass email. Oh, she's her friend. <gasps> whistle down. I've seen enough. But your Majesty, there's still. I have seen enough. She needs to read this now. Does this mean I can go? No, this means. Oh, just stand there. Hey, please. They're passing them out, everyone. <laughs> Truly, I cannot say I will long for any of this. Best of luck to you, brother. You shall certainly need it this season. <laughs> so meta, I love it. I know. Dearest gentle reader, did you miss me? Cool. Credits. Credits. How do you think she does it? Certainly not by herself. <laughs> How could she? <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious how many people know. Mm-hmm. At least that guy, right? Yeah. Well, I think it's in stages, so nobody knows the full thing. Yeah. I think she hands the letters off to him. He takes it to the printer. Yeah, but he doesn't think it's her. My mistress, so she... No this arrangement, so I'll say this only once. What my mistress wants, she gets. And for whatever reason, that would be you at the moment. That Changes doesn't make her special, accent, too. Mr. Harris. Yeah. Princes in this town are ten a penny. There's only one lady whistle down. But she could just as easily take her business elsewhere. So it's 18, not a penny more. And the delivery boys need a wage increase. They're the ones running around town when you get to sit here on your lazy arse. That's it, that's it. I'm pretty sure that's a dairy <laughs> accent, which she's actually Irish. Mm. She's in Dairy Girls. Cool. So I think that's her, her natural voice. Seeking those answers. What kind of air do they have there? Air today, gone tomorrow. I just wanted to add, like, dairy air. There is, of course, another unknown identity at present, though this one you will be. I'm quite close to my brothers and sisters. I love children. And what number do you have in mind? <laughs> children? He's... Or five, no, perhaps. She's trying Six. to tell me right away. <laughs> Three children is what I've always wanted, my lord. What if, say, one of your daughters had a control for overspending? How would you deal with that? <laughs> I approve. He's being very efficient. This is not how you find a out. life partner. <laughs> Work for me. This is what you do on your first date? Yep. Let me get you one. What if they fuck up? <laughs> do you read? Books. <laughs> he scratched that one out so <laughs> aggressively. <laughs> that was an Aaron answer. That was an Aaron answer. <laughs> He's reading more. But. We're showing this better early. But. You gotta save that. No, we gotta get out of the way. Alright. Get you used to it. You're gonna see it a lot. I have a new standing next year. And you agree? There's a button right over right, 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 right shoulder. <laughs> the Greek language? I write, I paint, I sing, I dance, mm. I can divide and multiply, I even construct my own house. I like her. Who was that? What? Back there. That was like the mother, I thought. <clears throat> that girl's mother? Or his yeah. mother? Yeah. Like coaching her, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Man, it's just a lot of work. I have notes for all the girls. Imagine going to date someone and you're like, you got notes to keep track of who. 
Not this one. I got notes. I had notes. <laughs> no lie. Probably still have them. Banged wife. Bridgerton 1 5 is one of my notes. You banged your wife in Bridgerton 1 5? Geese! <laughs> Distraction! <laughs> Swans! <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, those are, those are geese. Because okay. they don't have the black on them. The bills. Who's that? <clears throat> this is her! That's the one! She's getting away! Get her! <laughs> Kick her! Kick her? Well, you gotta kick her off the This horse. is why he needs a ring! Dude, his hat's so Yeah, cool. you never know. She might just say yes right now. He needs to be Sonic. Catch Pretty the much. fuck up. Yeah, right? Yep, perfect. I'll get her. Shoot the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Who is oh, this? Holy. Who yeah. is this? Oh my goodness gracious me, use that. One shot, I'm in love. <laughs> Duke who? <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> Count Duke who. One. Step out. Oh, she's gonna jump. Whoa there! Whoa there! He's mad. Can your horse do the jump? Nope. Anthony. Your hat's not tall enough. Crushes nuts. Right? <laughs> you take one big note says yes. <laughs> the one that got away. Literally, yeah. <laughs> you can just go around. Hey, there's no fire here. You're enjoying your victory lap. <laughs> <laughs> in the rare instances, it occurs. I have no difficulty in admitting that I've even lost one of the wrong. The rare instance. Good day, sir. The horse is like, I'm oh, so embarrassed. I'm afraid that is not possible. Not what I have a victory enough to enjoy. <laughs> I think he's smitten. Uh huh. Oh, he's smitten. Smitty. Mm -hmm. There is also Newton. Is he still upstairs? Newton. <laughs> the dog. Yeah. Is that Newton? <gasps> <laughs> she has the best faces. <laughs> she does. That's amazing. Followed by a short but comprehensive visit from a lovely French tutor I have secured. Oh, it's a lot of work. Well, stand up. She got juicy fruits over there. Both of you. If you uh... I believe they're Turkish delights. Maybe. <laughs> Beautiful smiles. Yes, they are. The age of the elderly. You okay? Smile. What the hell? Look, is the look how good I look. Quiet, I'm going to the season. Whether we like it or not. The preparation of this most excellent tea. <laughs> Rick prepared very good tea for me today. Mm -hmm. thing, but the only reason Mr. Dan writes about such things is because she is not an active participant. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their theory, I suppose. Yeah, everybody has a cane at 11. We could have canes. Can we? Is it acceptable to have canes? Why is it not? Kind of has mine. So you True. just gotta get a cool cane. You don't just want like some dumb cane. Let's get cool canes. I need a compass in mine. But you gotta wear something. You can't just wear what you're wearing. You gotta look nice. I put this shirt on for the show. You certain no one saw you? Yes, now never mind her. The Liar! <laughs> the Earl of Gloucester. His wife recently died of influenza. Oh. He might make a particularly estimable addition to your dance cut this evening, Miss Sharma. I will not be taken to the floor tonight. Dang it. Is there something dance. back home you've yet to tell me about? Come now, I'm long past all of that. The only match I'm interested in is for my sister. She is. Look at her hair. Whoa, Marge Simpson. Everyone yeah. behind her has the same color hair. Yep. Well, what I really seek is a gem. Oh, I hear you have made quite a journey to join us again after all these years, Lady Mary. If only you had extended the courtesy of offering your queen a final farewell before you left. Uh oh. What history do they have? I think they, they were like best friends. Best friends? Do Probably. I do a challenge. That's kind of what I'm getting. Oh, uh, Anthony's gonna see Kate. <laughs> mm hmm. Stop fussing the dress. You look lovely, dear. I look like a prize car trust up for auction. Mm. <laughs> 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 official ball, and look how well her season turned. She has a price tag hanging off her wrist. <laughs> she does. 
That's your dance Fun card. Oh. He cakes on these occasions are surprisingly good. Oh, well, he's a nice kid. Look at him. Aww. Truly is a sparse crop. Oh, I'm sure there is someone here who will charm you. Mm -hmm. She's right. Mm -hmm. After all, this is the season the Viscount intends to find a wife. <laughs> <laughs> you you almost suggested that. I believe I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a like a deer call or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that Lady Mary Sheffield Sharma? I can't believe she was showing her face here again. What a scandal of love. Lady Mary was the incomparable of our season until she fell in love with and married some kind of... Oh, drunk, she think. was the one. The two of them absconded to India thereafter. A Maharaja, I would have understood. But the man was no more than a common worker who already had a child. Yeah, but that was the uh, The older one. Lady Mary's parents. Okay. Never lived I get it now. Very unsettled indeed. Shaken to the bone, in fact, by... By grief, missing my dear, dear, very dead, very dead husband. <laughs> <laughs> Viscount Bridgerton is wealthy, well connected, and from one of the town's most illustrious families. Apparently, hoping to marry mm. this season, he may very well be our sister versus sister. sister. Yeah, sister, but sister. one sister is going to be holding herself back. Yes. I suppose he is. <gasps> Look, Hamilton. Yeah. Rewind. Yeah. Rewind. To see you this evening. Corning, you said. The Baron Corning. Oh, Baron. I think Baron's a cool sounding title. I'd be delighted. Sounds a lot like Aaron. Baron. Baron Aaron. You should. Oh. I, what? You're a lord. How do I get a title of Baron? What do I need for that? We'll see if you they You need have to a be special. like a business mogul. You need a barony. Yeah, need some, need some oil. You know? An oil baron. Simply pick the least objectionable and get a wet bed and brick. Then you can turn to more pleasurable pursuits. And more pleasurable partners. <laughs> <laughs> you may be cavalier, but if I must leg shack on myself in marriage, the lady in question should have more to recommend her. Oh, I'm so glad. Don't want to be hearing me say this shit. Mm -hmm. Your character is as deficient as your horsemanship. Oh, shit! Bye. Oh, in the show. <laughs> in the episode. Oh. <sighs> fire. Straight fire. It would seem both of us may have our hands full this year. <laughs> if I have something to say about it, and as you very well know, I always have something to say. I like her. Oh, uh, she's such a badass. And bring me a list of the peerage. She wants to go through the list of people who th she thinks it could be. Her hair looked like a furry animal. It was weird. Some more milk, maybe better. Oh, are those marbles? Oh, this kid. He just wants to play. <laughs> Why should I go and read now? Though of the many... <laughs> He's just a young boy. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Play some marbles. Have some fun. This year, wilting like a parched rose. <laughs> it is rather clever the way she uses plant buns to belittle. <laughs> clever indeed. <laughs> Candlestick. She gets to watch the reaction. Like you are. We're whistled down? Mm -hmm. Whoa. I think Eloise would make a brilliant diamond. I could not agree more, Hyacinth. Perhaps Her Majesty will take note of her ball tomorrow night. I despise you. <laughs> what? I despise you. Colin Bridgerton is no more your friend than I am the next Catherine the Great. Now, I perhaps someone should think you're a commoner. But you have no money. She has more power. And no zinky hands, thing. you know. And she it. ever will. No, flaunt it, but you can't, because then you lose it. Very few attempt to outwit me, and even fewer succeed. You are living under my roof, under my care, relying on my good name, my connections, my money. Hmm. I vouch for you and your sister in front of Her Majesty the Queen, all because I thought I was paying a kindness. To an old friend. And we are truly grateful for everything. I have no interest in being used as a pawn in someone else's game. That is not what we are doing. Then tell me what stipulations the Sheffields have apparently set down with regard to Edwina's match. Stipulations which, if met, will, I am guessing, guarantee great fortune for you and your family. Edwina must marry an Englishman of nobility. 
play could not control your mama's marriage. Mm. So they mean to interfere with your sisters. Yes. They never recovered from my father's lack of rank and title. Hmm. So let me assure you, Lady Danbury, I am not here. You're always supposed to marry up. Edwina deserves a chance to find love without such a burden. Still want her to be happy. Please, you must not tell us all. Well, she can keep a secret. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> fucked with it. <laughs> I feel like she's kind of earning her respect a little bit with all this. Yeah. Uh, it is a delightful fall, Your Majesty. Very diamondy. <laughs> Though I must admit, I'm more of an emerald person myself. My favorite necklace is one of emeralds. How thoughtful of you to know that. Mm. It seems you have indeed come a long way since last year, Miss <laughs> Bridgerton. <laughs> she just screwed herself. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Everybody's like, how did you do that? That was amazing! <laughs> that name's Eloise, the diamond. Who will you marry then, brother? Oh, shoot. <laughs> 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 like, 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 no, not in the grass. The stains. The lilies. You shouldn't get stains unless you really start like moving a lot, right? Yeah. When you're invisible, you can have all of the amusement you want without any of the expectations of the flag. It brings it. Freeze you. I think that is why I was so down with and all Perhaps. Yeah. That is why Crestor is so cruel. No. <laughs> she gets headaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Allow it to now be my honor to present to you the season's diamond. Someone red has in the show. Who? Who is it? Where's Eloise? Eloise, or Sharma, or. Oh, it might have been Eloise, but she doesn't see Eloise because she's out in the. Miss Edwina Sharma. There we go. He's gonna go for the diamond. So he goes for that, but really wants that kind of thing. Delilah. Her. It's a her, not a I'm that. I'm talking that for the diamond idea. The gems, the emeralds. You know. it's it, it fits. She wears emeralds, so it's like, I like diamonds, but I've always been more partial to emeralds. Okay, I shall be afforded pleasure to dance. And I bet she dances well. And she's been slowly for. trained over years. Eight years. You know, it's going to be the idea of, like, here's the perfect woman well, yeah. kind of thing, right? She's going to have all of her sister's... Abilities. The knowledge, the languages, the dancing. But sure. she taught her, you know? Modern languages, classical literature. They are conversing while dancing and not messing up. Yep. Do not seem discomposed by my line of questioning. Well, they were chewing gum, I'd be impressed. She is a lovely diamond, there is. Indeed. She is who I should marry. Oh, shit. There are a few things I must make you aware of. Color, clarity, carrot. Cut. Shit's on. You ready for the season? Queen I'm ready. Named the most precious stone. Uh-oh. Oh, the cousin's oh, here. Shit. Oh, this. Yep. Cousin's here. He is an American. Lady Featherington. Best to work if we are not married. It's rather strange. I thought the air was ugly. Oh, was Michael Sarah for a second. I thought the air was ugly. Lady. It is quite all right. You must be my father. Oh, no offense taken. You were ugly. I'm very old. I'm so old. Oh. <laughs> so old. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> okay, this guy's delivery is. Uh, Don't worry, I've already started taking care of him. Should a woman not be valued for so much more than her dancing skills or her comportment? Should we not value a woman instead for her candor, her character, her true accomplishments? What do you think, Eloise? I love it. <laughs> Perhaps if the Queen abandoned this absurdity that is the diamond, we would all see that a woman can be so much more. <laughs> Man, she's gonna be so mad. What is it, Your Majesty? She, she was for losing. She was pushed into my diamond. 
It seems she will need to do more for me this season than simply sparkle. Uh, raising the standard. Uh, shit's on, baby. <sighs> It is a fun show. I have so much fun with this show. Great change of pace. Yep. So bright, colorful. <laughs> it is. You like change of pace from what we normally react to, you mean, or yeah. what? Sure. In a lot of ways. Yeah. 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 You, even just it's like, not a superhero show, Rick. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, Whistle Down has a secret alias. She has pow. No, I get you. <laughs> well, and it's a thing, too, where it's more about, like, the characters and the story that's going on. Like, yeah. there's not like there's a ton of CGI, which is, like, a lot of the things, you know, yeah. Star Wars and... Marvel and DC, whatever, like a lot of that stuff they do during darker scenes so they can hide the CGI a little easier. Yeah. Here, you're not having to rely on a ton of CGI, so like it can be bright, it can be pretty, it can yeah. be flowerful. And just the setting and everything just really works for that idea. Yeah. It's just, it's fantasy. Yeah, sure. It's fantasy, it is. drama, yeah. cool setting, you know? I can love, I can hate. I, I'm really, like, I can I'm, feel, I don't feel bad about any of it. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I, I like the, like, I'm pretty sure, like, some of the things are a, alluding to or foreshadowing of like the idea of like a diamond and then she's like I've always liked emeralds better and I, mm. earlier in the episode I was like pretty sure Kate's wearing like an emerald mm. necklace so like when you have that and her sister is designated as the diamond yeah. she then could be like the emerald in a way or that's kind of a way of showing like she is an emerald and maybe that's the way we go where it's like is Anthony gonna go for the diamond or the emerald you know like sure. there'll be some drama baby. and the emerald is green and that's a color of jealousy sure as well yeah. And then you also have the idea of, like, she heard what he said about, you know, basically, I gotta pick the best horse, <laughs> you know, kind of idea. Yeah, it's throwing it out great, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, it, 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 fell it flat clearly very devolved quickly. into, like, sure. Well, yeah. speaking to an audience. Check the teeth and all this kind of <laughs> yeah, stuff. Right? But, no, I mean, it could be one of those things where it's like, well, yeah, it's the locker room talk kind of idea, because that's what they think and say, too, and yeah. stuff. But it's like, I think he really just wants to fall in love. And I don't think he thought of any of, any of those things when he was looking at her on the yeah. horse. You he's know? thinking of his responsibilities. Sure, yeah. And he's looking at it that way. It's like, well, yeah. it's, they need to raise my kids and whatever else they have to do. Sure. I, I take care of my sisters. Yeah, that kind of idea, right? Like, the things his mom is doing, he's sure. looking for someone to be able to take that role and not yeah. be like, this, this person's a joke. But... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm interested to see where the story goes. I think my favorite thing so far has been, like, it was the turn of what Whistledown is now going to value, right? Sure. Because the first season, while fun, go with me here. It's like Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Don't think about it too much. Yeah. You, you like, the Pokemon are animals that you capture and force to fight each other. These women are being used for their virginity, their birth, and their status, and not valued in any other way, you yeah. know? Like, don't think about sure. it too much and enjoy the ride, you know? Yeah. Enjoy the culture and, and that side, but... It's the idea of a diamond. It's yeah. like, it's a shiny piece of jewelry, and it's pretty. Yeah. And it's like, there's no substance there except for it's this. Yeah. Unless you can... Well, what's more at this? Like True. Like, diamond tip drill. Now there's use for this. Well, yeah, but else. then yeah. you have fucking blood diamonds, too, you know? <laughs> sure, like, yeah. Where it's like, hey, to be able to get this thing, a lot of people suffer through a lot of bullshit. This is glorifying a fantasy that it's fine for people to have, but yeah. it shouldn't be the only ideal. Exactly, which is why I compare it to Pokemon. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Um, but I like with her doing that. Um, there's the She comes back the first time. They're like, oh, yeah, she's back. All right, whistle yeah. down. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. But then I like how the queen's reading her second note or whatever, her article or whatever, and it's yeah. like, she will rush me into doing this. Yeah. Like, oh, ha, be I picked a diamond now, now what? And she reads it and it's like, why do we pick a Damn diamond? It. This I, is so stupid. I, I just the... love most of her <laughs> lines is her just reading Whistle Down and be like, God! <laughs> you know, most of her screen presence. She's so good at it. Yeah. I, I love uh, Lady Danbury, too. Danbury. Danbury's like, yeah. expressions so good. are impeccable. There's something I love. That dog. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Well, I, lo I don't know why. I love that her cane is, like, too high for her, so that she's always like this. There's just something about her that makes her, like, I don't know. Well, like There's a way she walks with it, too, like where it's always, like. She's like coming at you. It's, it's never just. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's got a wiggle to yeah. it. Or it's like she's changing gears all the time while she's, <laughs> it's while like she's driving walking. a semi. You know? You know? She's like, ice trucker or something. 18 speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's so cool. <laughs> She had the best outfits. She had that one, like, you know, uh, Dracula thing. It was see-through. I like that shit. I like that shit. Yeah. It's like uh, Star Wars attire. Mm. <clears throat> yes. I, I feel like canes aren't the most acceptable thing in our society, and I think that we should change that. Canes are so useful. Yeah. Well, sure. I mean, now a cane, Let's do it. Sure? a cane is something that indicates, like, oh, there's something wrong with your legs or, or yeah. something like that, where... 
It was a symbol of status yeah. and, and refinement back then. Like know? I said the other day, I want to get one of those new survival sticks that I got, where you can like take it apart and it has like shit, like okay. cool shit. But like you need to look board. like a nice, cool cane. Oh, yeah, you're just gonna carry a. What, I don't know what they look like. You like, need a sword cane. I picture just a stick. Sword cane would be fun. Sure. Yeah. We need to all go to like a wedding and we all like we dress up. Yeah. And we take canes. I would like a collection of canes. A collection of canes. Mm. Yeah, where do you get canes? Where do you get canes? Glenn Jacob. I have like, some walkers. Probably sure we maybe. can order online. At Canes. What? At Canes. I don't think Canes sells canes, Calvin. I think they do. K A or C A I N S. Should we go to a chicanery? We need a new a chicanery. We need a new mailbag trend with just canes. You know, sometimes we get trends. Send us, send us canes. Give us cool canes from around the world. I would, I would love that shit. Fuck yeah! I get like an Irish be more of a staff. A staff. That's good too. You know what? You're I don't. I don't want to buy a cane. Maybe. Stick. Maybe what I want to do is I want to go and like cane be cool. make a cane. I want to have a cane created. Like I want like a little. I want something on the top that can represent like this is. You know how people have like fucking I don't know skulls and shit. Fuck. You know what? The last wedding I went to, there was a guy who just. I just remember him sitting at the table where yeah. he was eating. He just had a cane. Yeah. And he burned himself in your memory. I just buy remember, that cane. I just remember that he had a cane. Yeah. But oh. it had a little skull on it. But I want something that's not just a skull. Like, bring no, a skull like, wedding. My grandpa like, carved these like, little bottles that, that I got. Like, one of them has, like, a Native American, like, head. And the other one has an eagle. Yeah. But, like, you know, like, there's been those crystal ball pokeballs that have, like, little bubbles in them? Ooh, Imagine yeah. one of those on the top of a cane. You just that'd walk in with that, sweet, you know? Like, that'd be like, kind of cool. One of those over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there one over there? <laughs> I think so. Get it! I thought there was. I don't know. Maybe you took it. No, you probably took uh, it home. I had some home. That's probably where it this went. This is the best thing I can... Kind of represent it in a way. That's it's like, a terrarium. Shut that's up. a giant no. cane. It's just this, but it was clear one. and it was crystal clear, and it just had like a bubble sword inside. Like carrying around a mace. But I don't want it this big. That's too big. That's like a oh, uh, dude. But if you could press a button and spice came out, what is it called? A scepter? Like the the scepter is like goes out. It's like a torch, have. but yeah, but like the king. Like you know, what? Like the, the royal jewels, like they have like the little ball thing. It's like a sensor, sensor right? Yeah. And a scepter. That that would be like the top of a scepter. I said, what did Jafar have? Was that like a staff? Was that a yeah, scepter? Staff. Was that a? Yeah, his staff. I said Gandalf. I told you to take the wizard staff. <laughs> Who said that? Worm tongue. Cream worm tongue. Oh. Tahama. <laughs> Tahama. Nahama. Hama. Nahama. Nahama. Yeah. Hama. Nahama. Nahama. Hmm. Back to your point earlier, like yes. not thinking too hard mm. about everything. Yeah. Like we talked about it last season, but like it's it's good to see representation. But you know, England didn't have the best. They uh, don't have the best representation. Sure. India. Yeah, no. And that's why, I like, definitely... it's fun to think of it as like a fantasy historical setting, right? Yeah. It's like who cares? Everybody has a place here. Everybody can see themselves in the story and all that stuff. Like. It doesn't bother me. Like, even when they say stuff like London and England and America, I'm always like, oh, yeah, it's supposed to be in this world, you know? Yeah. But I don't enjoy it for those reasons. I enjoy it in, just in spite of those reasons, I guess. I don't know. It's more of a Hogwarts. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Sure. In a way. Like, they had, like, guards and stuff, and it's like, some of, these, some of the skin color here is definitely not what England would have had. Yeah. yeah. You know? no, it, it, it really threw me when they mentioned Napoleon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. This is supposed to be real. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's set in that time frame. Well, because but we, sure, I get what you mean. We weren't sure in the first seasons, like, where is this set? Like, is this, like, a pretend Earth that yeah. something else happened? Like, we had how a bunch did, of different theories. How did he word that? Did he word it as in presently? Did he say Napoleon leads or Fought led? For, led. Uh, Fought for Spain. Yeah, so I think Napoleon is alive. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. Like, is, this is, like... Not, he's not dead yet. But I'd imagine it's before, so. like, Emperor Napoleon, probably. He's probably a general. Okay. Because I don't know when that happened, but I was just trying to think about that. I was trying to remember what he said, and if it was more of a past tense I thing. Have we looked up the time frame for this show before? before? I don't know. Is, I don't uh, know. Well, the, the Regency 1813 era. 1813 was the first season. 1813? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, he would have been. Okay. He would have been Emperor. 1813. Where did you write that? Where'd you get that? Uh, season one, episode one. It's the first note I have, eighteen thirteen. My first note says music. I have Featherington, Julie Andrews, Benedict. Oh, now shit. shit. That's right. Don't say that one. Sex record. You didn't say one. I didn't say that. You, one. you skipped one. Sometimes I 
Right, one word descriptors of people. Yeah, if you're in 1813 and you don't know who Napoleon is. Yeah, right, talk. <laughs> dummy. <laughs> uh, I'm not a dummy. I know how to use the word anon. Damn. That Napoleon fights for the Spanish. Yeah. So it's current. True. What? Rank of nobility or title of honor, often hereditary in various European countries, either current or historical. A baron. Yeah. Baron. You don't have to be born into it. You no. can be named one by okay. the prime minister. Yeah. As long as Queen Elizabeth approves. So well, I guess or you could be an oil baron. Who is it? King. Diane. Charles. Is, that him? is it Charles? I don't know who the fuck that is. Just some old white guy. That's. <laughs> like, I can't tell who that that's is. That's Charles. <laughs> he looks older than the queen. He's. Her son. You look old. Okay? She was queen for a long... That dude's been waiting. <laughs> All right. Wasn't she like 96 or something? Something like that. Yeah. She was queen for over seven years. He was years. the Prince of Wales Betty, for a I'm very long time. Pretty sure Betty White won. <laughs> <laughs> they, they both were pretty old. Yeah. I did like the... What was it? Lord, uh, The new Lord Featherington. I like how he came in and he's like, Oh, you think my father? He was ugly. And old. Quite old. So much that he died, in fact. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was funny. Jeez, okay. Yeah, that guy's going to shake up that house. Explain yeah. that and yeah. swept it under the rug. Mm-hmm. It was so no, funny. I think that's going to be good for the Featheringtons. I like yeah. how you guys all saw bear and like moose antlers and stuff, and you're like, he is American. He is American. Yeah. No, there he's he just hunted. <laughs> well, he came from you know America. What, you know what safari, who sa- started safaris? British lords going to Africa, <laughs> slaughtering lions and elephants. I suppose, but... I was also right. <laughs> and they all, <laughs> then they all came to America. And then one, and now there's guys. Uh, Daphne the, and the Duke have had a child. We didn't mention that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And we had her briefly. I don't think we're going to see her anymore, probably, no, right? Probably I feel like not. she was here in, a passing, was last in the passing of a torch kind of yeah. way. Happened. I mean, just yeah. the, the way this show goes with, you know, the, the, the presentation and the season and the queen, like, it doesn't really, I guess it doesn't even really fit, right, to keep them around. Too much. Not really. Well, yeah, it's like yeah, they would be like out of the main, the spotlight. Sure. Like Cheers and Lucifer, like any show where it's all about will they, won't they? Yep. Now that that's done, get them out of here. Yep. You either break them up or get them out of there. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't need this anymore, then? No. No, we need it. We need it for comfort. It's like a security blanket. We can put it in my office. What? Mm. Okay. Um, I thought there was gonna be more. I don't know mystery of it because they had a uh, Kate and Edwina talking about like their relations and like we are sisters that's what we are you know and I was yeah. like okay but then no, it I just kind of like into the later a little later in the episode they had the story from the little gossipers talking about what happened and mm-hmm. ran away with a guy who already had a kid For and then it's like ah oh. and then later on Lady Danbury is just like tell me the truth and she's like all right here it is yeah that's not my father or that's not my mother yeah <laughs> they're not yeah. my father mm-hmm. mother and stuff so. No mystery there. No. Not anymore. No. But they, the casting did well. I was immediately smitten myself. <laughs> One shot. I was like, yay! You saw her nose, and you were like, yes! It's a nose! With Kate. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like Edwina, too. She's very cute. The Edwina name is awkward to me. Oh, yeah, no. But Edwina, Edwina right? Yeah. You know what it is? It's, it's like Edwin. Yeah. But Edwina. Yeah. I, I just think of Ed, but... Female Ed, you know, like like kind of like in the way. Sure. Like Aaron, female Aaron is just Aaron. Aaron. It just spelled a little different, but it's still pronounced the same. Dude, if you became a Baron, Baron Aaron. Baron Aaron, I know. I need to go talk to Elizabeth. Yeah. To rhyme with Karen. I don't know what her last name is. I'm pretty I mean, sure it would help that you're already or Liz. A, it's gonna help that you're already a lord, right? Like that will help. I, I hope. can't hurt. Yeah. Lord Baron Aaron. Lord well, Baron Aaron. <laughs> he needs to talk to the to the Prime Minister first. Yes. Yeah. And then it's like, uh, glass. Well, the queen. What, go what do I have? Ask your mother. <laughs> what do I have to do to get a prime minister? Dude, away you are the barony today. You already okay. fucking did it, man. Like we established titles. You got the lordship. You go up to Downing Street, knock on the door. You can get in. You're lord. I don't think that's how it works. I think so. I don't, I don't think it's just a door. I don't. I what? You can pour it's more door. than just a door. Well, get a There's guys with big hats that I don't think will let me in. You just go that's through. That's not like, I am lord, the that's, president of America. That's Buckingham Palace. Oh, where am I going? 10 Downing Street yeah. to the Is that where Sherlock Minister. lives? No, that's no, 221 you... B Baker Street. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Bridgerton. If you're excited for us to get more into Season 2, well, guess what? Patreon.com slash BlindWave. We have the next four there right now. That you didn't know that.
Napoleon fights for the French. 